I'm Jeff McCoy with 21 Country Markets. We're proud to be in our 21st year of serving Jackson County and the surrounding communities. For all your fuel, food, and hardware needs, visit one of the 21 Country Market family of stores where it's always fast, friendly, and helpful. For more information, visit 21country.com.
Jeff Waybright, Brian Johnson here for all of this afternoon's action. Jeff, good to be with you, my friend, on uh, Saturday afternoon. Little Saturday afternoon matinee uh, girls game uh, against Cross County rival Ravenswood Red Devilettes. Looking forward to a good game, Brian. Ravenswood certainly has this game circled on the calendar after the Lady Vikes went over there to get a decisive victory to open the season as uh, Red Devils will control the will control the tip and Ratchford will bring it across the timeline moving left to right in their road black trimmed in white and red ball deflected out of bounds ton of contact no call it will stay with Ravenswood uh, try to go inside and McKinnon Hall is having nothing to do with it uh, and Ravenswood will inbound McKinnon's been battling uh, a few uh, health bugs she's been a little bit under the weather so she has not been herself over the last couple of games she seems to be uh quick quick this evening she seems to be ready to play sure thing uh brian as the lady vikes will bring the ball in here's ryan with it she goes cross court to shanklin back to ryan they got to hurry across the timeline now across near side to hall she'll dribble it out guarded by ratchford no score 7 30 to go here in the first quarter Ryan with it left wing down on the block to Baldwin. Baldwin reverses it back out to Nichols and they throw it away. Unforced Lady Viking turnover. Ravenswood extending uh, pressure, trying to slow down the Ripley offense, and thus far it's been successful. 7 20, still yet to crack the scoreboard here in the first quarter. Ratchford angling near side, trapped in the backcourt, loses the handle now, nowhere to go with it. Steps through the trap, passes forward to Mosser, and Mosser is going to be called for the travel. So turnovers are plenty here to begin this almost 714 to go. Lady Vikings uh, with a very aggressive trapping defense, Brian, and they uh, get the turnover. Let's see if they can turn it into points. Ball slowly into the front court, across the timeline, right hand dribble. Passes in, top circle to Ryan. Now off the ball, but she lays it up and in. Good offense. Great ball movement that time by the Lady Vikes. They went to the high post, turned around and found the wide open. Baldwin, she knocks it down. Two to nothing. Lady Vikes lead it. Front court, Carroll with it in the near corner. Ball deflected. Baldwin with the steal. Another Ravenswood turnover as the Lady Vikes push the ball up the floor. Ryan quickly into the front court. She'll circle back out between the circles. Reset the offense. Two, three defense out of the Lady Devils. Ryan right of the circle. Cross court to Nichols. Nichols passes on a three. Now back to Ryan in the paint. Floater rolls across the front of the rim and out. Shanklin's rebound. Put back won't go. Mosser comes out of there with it. Shanklin gets the rebound. Just didn't get the ball up quickly enough and Ravenswood was able to get a hand on that. Don't know who blocked it, but a good defensive play. Quickly, McGrosky passes off to Carroll. Carroll shoot a 15-footer off the back iron. Rebounded by Ryan. Here come the Lady Vikes. McKinnon Hall quickly. Skip pass. Cross court to Sophie Nichols, and Sophie lays it up and in. And the Lady Vikes are looking to push the ball, uh, Brian, and that time McKinnon Hall, great pass to Sophie Nichols, and Nichols knocks it down. Four to nothing, Lady Vikes, and then nobody stops the basketball. Right down Main Street, Hadley Magoski lays it up and in as Ravenswood's on the scoreboard. Four to two, Lady Vikings... Clinging to a two-point lead, Ryan to Nichols off to Hall, and she lays it up and in. They're really at their best, Jeff, in that secondary break when they get those opportunities. And a great use of the left hand that time by Hall to get that ball up and into the hoop. 6-2 Lady Vikes, nice look under the basket. Here's Mosser, elbow jumper, that's too strong. Rebounded by Baldwin. And Ravenswood, uh, Brian, is breaking the pressure by the Vikings. They just can't get a shot to fall. Shanklin's corner shot won't go. Ratchford with the rebound. The look ahead. She has a wide open McCroskey. And nice hustle there from Shanklin. She'll pick up the foul, Jeff, but uh, she eluded what would have been a guaranteed two. That's about the third time uh, that Ravenswood has beaten the Lady Vikings back. And that time uh, they will go to the foul line. It's Mikoski. Mikoski free throw up and in. 6-3 your score. Lady Vikings leading it here in the early going. 4.57 remaining first quarter. Second one up and in. Two-point game. Back to 
Hall. Now Ryan will bring it up the near side. Pressure from Ravenswood back to Hall. Vikings throw it away. Stolen by Ratchford. Ravenswood chance to tie it up or take the lead. Coach Kennedy uh, over here shaking his head after that turnover and uh, not at all happy with the way the Lady Vikes are uh, attacking or lack of attacking this pressure. Um, Brian, they, Ravenswood has four people extended almost to the half court line. If we just break the pressure right there off the bounce. Ryan trapped in the corner, reversing it back out. Left wing to Nichols, now cross court to Shanklin. Shanklin dribbling it back out between the circles, hands off to Hall. And they'll reset as the Lady Vikes trying to add to their two-point lead here. Nichols, top circle. Near side, near corner now, Ryan. She'll shoot a three, contested. That one's short. Nichols with the rebound. Fight, Lady Vikes out of there with it. They'll get another opportunity. And the middle is wide open against the, this spread out 2-3 that Ravenswood running, Brian, and look for the Vikings to start attacking. Uh, just form a little triangle and you get a layup off of it. Ryan now, left wing, hands off to Hall. Back to Ryan. Now back between the circles to Nichols. 3.42 to go. Turning clock first quarter. Long two from Ryan in the far corner. She buries it. She has a very quick release. Uh, when she gets her feet set, Brian, she could be deadly. 8-4. Lady Vikings lead at three and a half minutes to go here in the first quarter. Here's Carroll. Long two in the near corner. Rebounded by Shanklin. And a foul in the backcourt. And it was fortunate because all the guards left. Shanklin standing underneath the basket, and Ravenswood had a double team. Ryan was back there, uh, but she couldn't see her. Macy Mosser picks up the foul. She, Jeff, is the daughter of a standout Lady Viking from my class, which would be Melanie Hartley, would have been her name in high school. Macy in Ravenswood now. Looks, plays a lot like her mama, and a put back here by Baldwin on the miss from Nichols. She does resemble her mama, doesn't she? <laughs> Plays like her, looks like her, all the above. Here is a long three on the way from Libby Hall. It is no good. It's going to be rebounded by Magoski. And a foul is going to be called on the baseline. That's going to be on Baldwin. And you can see uh, the matchups out there on the floor, and it looks like player-to-player -player matchups the Lady Vikes have an advantage, but Ravenswood really hustling. Reminds us of the ball game the other night with the boys at Parkersburg. Yeah, Parkersburg, <laughs> I've said it, out one to us on uh, Wednesday night, I believe it was, Jeff. Uh, yeah. Just, the, the Vikes just ran out of gas, especially in that third period. We'll have another opportunity here this afternoon and a big one after today's game. Uh, the Lady Vikes ball was shot up no good. Rebound by Nichols. Well, that's a tough call right there. As Sophie Nichols was just getting out of the way, the Ravenswood uh, player lost her balance. Sophie picks up her first. That's team third. 2.41 to go here in the first quarter of action. 10-4, Lady Vikes lead it. Lydia Alfred into the ball game. Here's Carroll with it right wing and a nice steal by Sophie. Sophie quickly on the other end. Ryan, baseline drive, swings it near side to Hall. Back to Shanklin, back to Hall, near corner three on the way. High Harker, short, rebounded by Baldwin. Baldwin, back to Shanklin. Lady Vikes with another opportunity here. Great hustle by Kiana Baldwin. 2.08 to go, clock turning, 10-4. Lady Vikings lead a lazy pass into that zone, and it's turned it over. Yeah, you just bounce pass it in there. She's got to come meet it. Uh, turnover by the Lady Vikes. Here's Carroll. Handing it off to Magoski. Magoski drives into the paint. Run the contact, no call. Here comes Nichols on the rebound. It's a three on two. Passes back to Hall. Hall will shoot a three from the wing. Got, Got it. it. Good patience that time by McKinnon Hall, Jeff, to allow the defense to blow by. Get the three, and it's 13-4 Lady Vikes. Here's a long two, or long three rather, from Alfred. It is going to be short. Lady Viking basketball coming the other way. Coach Kennedy urging the Lady Vikings to keep pushing the basketball. And Ravenswood wants a timeout. Full timeout. Jeff will take one, two. Lady Vikings 13, Lady Devils 4 here. Mountaintop Media's presentation of Lady Viking basketball. Thank <laughs> you. 
Welcome back to Ripley High School, Lady Viking Basketball, presentation of Mountaintop Media this afternoon. Jeff Waybright, Brian Johnson, Lady Vikes out early here, Jeff, on the Lady Devils from Ravenswood, 13 to 4 with 127 to go here in the first quarter. It'll be Lady Viking Basketball moving right to left in their home white, trimmed in gray numeral or gray uh, blue numbers, rather, blue lettering. Lady Vikes turn it over. Unforced errors by the Lady Vikings. Uh Fortunately, Ravenswood has had a few themselves, and that's how the Lady Vikes are out to this 13-4 lead. Alfred misses the three. Ryan with the rebound. Here she comes the other way with it. A lot of contact, no call. Nichols, open three, left wing, too strong. Shanklin runs it down. Great hustle by Morgan Shanklin to give the Lady Vikings another opportunity here. As we dip under a minute remaining here in the first quarter, Ryan left wing back to Hall between the circles, 48 seconds. 13 to four, Lady Vikings lead it. A lot of gaps out there in that defense. If somebody would just penetrate, get their feet in the paint, it's a layup. 37 seconds. Ryan nearly throws it away. Cross court to Shanklin, back to Nichols. Now Hall with it, they can hold for the final shot. It looks like uh, what McKenna has in mind. 20 seconds. Ravenswood stays in that zone. Now they're going to come out and meet Hall. 15 seconds. Ryan forces the defense to collapse. Back out to Hall. 10 seconds. Angling far side. Off to Nichols. She's trapped. Looks at the clock. Elbow jumper. Rolls across the front of the rim. No good. She's going to get called for a second foul coming over the back, I do believe. Uh, <clears throat> that is a big foul as she picks up foul number two. And... <laughs> Ravenswood crowd agreed with that call. We've got wholesale changes here. No, Sophie will come out here. Butler into the ball game. Here's time expiring in and out. I'm not sure she got the shot off in time, Jeff, but. Nonetheless, Lady Vikings will take a 13-4 lead here into the second period of afternoon basketball. The Lady Vikings hosting the Lady Devils from Ravenswood. You're watching Lady Viking basketball on Mountaintop Media. We'll return with second quarter action after this. Second quarter action, Lady Vikings hosting the Lady Devils from Ravenswood, 13 to four. Lady Vikes will take a lead into the second period of action here. You got Ratchford with it across the timeline between the circles, between the leg dribble now. Off to Alfred, right wing. She'll dribble across the top of the circle, go into the far corner to Ratchford. Baseline spin move, floaters too strong. Rebounded by Ravenswood and put back, no, not there. It was Maxim. Good effort that time. Coming out of there with the basketball was Hall. Casto into the ball game for the Lady Vikings as we start the second period. She is in for 
Sophie, who's saddled with some foul trouble. Here's Shanklin, cross court to Ryan, right wing into Casto. Nice pass to Baldwin, reversing it back out to Ryan. Ryan back out between the circles. Great ball movement here by the Lady Vikes, not settling for poor shot. And then right of the circle, Hall gets a look at a three. She makes the right call, Jeff. She buries it. That's a dagger uh, after a uh, pretty good defense by the Red Devilettes, keeping the Vikings from penetrating against that zone. But uh, Hall just spots up and drills it. 16 to four, here's Ratchford's three. It's short, rebounded by Jaeger. Jaeger back to Max and her shot no good, rebounded by Hall. She'll push as she brings it across three. Red Devilettes following her down the floor. Here comes the Vikings, other way. Hall, deep three, right wing, too short. Rebounded by Jaeger. Heat check there. Yeah, that might have been one giant step too deep. <laughs> Baseline jumper up and in by Lydia Alfred. Cuts the lead to 10. Lady Vikings lead at 16-6. Coach Kennedy not happy at all with the Lady Vikes not finding and stopping the basketball. We talked about it for years, Brian. The most important thing out there is that ball. And so often teams don't stop it. Here's Casto. Shot blocked by Maxson from behind. Gathered back in by Hall. Now baseline drive from Shanklin off to Baldwin. Shot up, foul, won't go. But she will get herself to the free throw line. A big smile as she looks back at Coach John Kennedy. And that was great penetration. And, and our bigs, when we get it inside, have got to turn and attack the basket. That being uh, Shanklin and Baldwin uh, for the Lady Vikings. They can make a living if they just turn and aggressively go to the basket because they've got the Red Devilettes out of position once they move that zone a little bit. Mosser and Magoski check back in for the Lady Devils. This one in and out. Baldwin missing both of them. Rebounded by Libby Hall. 16-6, Ravens with a chance to cut this under double digits. All deflected there by Ryan. Ravens with one of the foul. Mosser with it right wing. 5.30 to go here in the first half. 16-6. Lady Vikings lead it. Nice cut through and a nice pass from Mosser to Magoski. I think the foul is going to be called on the floor. And that's going to be a hold on McKinnon Hall, her first team's fifth. Got caught trailing that time. And when you do, uh, bad things happen. There's McKenna with a steal. Here comes a steal. Coming the other way quickly. She'll pull up. Jumper in transition. It won't fall. Maxim with the rebound. Score remains 16 to 6. Comes Magoski into the front court. Cut off by Hall and she'll reset between the circles. It's a screen from Mosser. Steps into a three left of the circle and she got it. And the Lady Vikings again defensively getting confused, not knowing whether they're going to switch, whether they're going to stay. And they make us pay. 16 to nine, Lady Vikings lead it. Here's Ryan into the front court. Casto, long two baseline jumper, no good. Baldwin with a rebound. They go back to Ryan, right wing three, short. The box out there by Maxson. As she comes away with the rebound and clears it. Lady Vikes falling in love with that deep three. Uh, not getting the uh, putbacks on the offensive end. Here's Libby Hall, nice cut through. Maxson can't finish. It's going to be rebounded by Baldwin. 4.25 to go here in the first half. 19 to 6. Excuse me, 16 to 9. Lady Vikings lead it. Baldwin at the elbow. Back out to Casto. Now corner three from Ryan. That is too strong. Cleared by Baldwin. Put back up and in. Good job by Baldwin, Ryan, as she hung tough in there. Got that rebound. Put it up quickly off the glass. 18 to 9. <laughs> Lady Vikings lead it. Nichols will check in at the next dead ball. A little bit of a gamble with two fouls on her. She knows how to play with them. And a great finish by Magoski, but they're going to call an offensive foul. And I think that's a pretty favorable call for the Vikings, Jeff. Uh, Very that's favorable. A, that's a fantastic move by her. And the Ravenswood fans are letting their feelings be known about that. As you said, McGoskey made a beautiful move to get in the lane, but Aaron Ryan right there to take the hit. It's a fantastic step-through move by her, Jeff. And one of those calls that could go either way, but 
You usually see it go the way of the offensive player. Shanklin shot up, no good. Coach Kennedy urging her to use the backboard. It's getting a little out of hand as fans are coming out of the stands. It's getting a little bit, uh, a little bit fired up right now. 18 to nine, your score, and I think that last call may have been a. a you hate to say it, but it was a bit of a makeup. A little ball. bit of a makeup, yeah. I think you're right. Uh, but frustration, I think, a little bit on both of the head coaches' parts as uh, Carol Williams, the head coach of the Devils, says, get over here <laughs> right now. And Coach Kennedy, I think, is uh, advising uh, the Lady Vikes, especially on the offensive end. That, and Butch, um, Butch that rim's hanging up there uh, for a reason on that backboard. Use the backboard. Butch Varney doesn't say a whole lot, uh, Jeff, and he's typically very positive. And he was having a little chat with the official <laughs> right there. You know, and he is so good oh, he's at picking his moments. And while everybody else was watching the head coach, he was sliding over and getting in the official's ear a little bit. Great, great coach, better person is Butch Varney. I mean, you won't find a better man. Here's a shot. Ratchford won't go again. A lot of Boy. contact. No call. Baldwin. And that could have been number three on Sophie very easily. Baldwin clears the rebound. Here's Hall. She'll dribble it back out. Ravens the with uh, kind of man-to-man -man right now, so let's see if the Vikings recognize it. Just got a spread. 3.06 to go here in the first half of action. 18-9. to nine. Lady Vikings lead it. Nice cut through. Nice delivery to Baldwin. Or not to Baldwin. Excuse me. To Nichols. Foul is going to be on Ratchford. That'll be her first, team's fourth. Ravenswood is going to have issues trying to guard uh, the Lady Vikes man-to-man. -man. We've got uh, too many uh, scoring threats out there individually. Inbounds, Baldwin, shot up, no good. Going to be rebounded by Magoski. She's on the floor, and a nice job of keeping her dribble. As she fell to the floor, she'll get a shot in transition. Too strong, cleared by Baldwin. A lot of contact again as Magoski very aggressive. Quick throw ahead, and Lady Vikings throw it away. That's the things that drive Coach Kennedy crazy. His team knows better than to make those type of – trying to thread the needle. You got a nine-point lead with two and a half minutes to go here in the first half. Yeah, every possession's precious. Here's Hall, baseline drive, cut off, reversing it back to Ratchford. She'll dribble in. Now kick it back in the corner to Hall for three. Good block out by Carroll. She puts it back up and in. Inside position, and uh, you get caught watching instead of following the ball, and uh, Ravenswood takes advantage of it. 18-11 now, Lady Vikings lead it. Ryan crossover now in the corner to Nichols. She'll baseline drive on Ratchford. Took a shot in the face, no call. Shot won't go, gets her own rebound. And then a tie-up. Are they going to call a tie-up or a foul? That's going to be a foul on Ratchford. Good hustle by Sophie. Lady Vikes struggling from the floor. Six points this quarter with only two minutes to go. So Ravens are playing a little more physical than the Lady Vikes, and that, that's kind of been the difference. The Lady Vikes getting frustrated. They're not getting calls they think they should get. you got to play through it. Here's a shot by Ryan. No good. Rebounded by Mosser. We saw the boys fall into that trap Wednesday night, not getting whistles that they thought they should get. And uh, sometimes that gets you out of your game. Ravens are doing a nice job of that. And they... I'm not sure if that was a travel or if that was a block. 51. We don't have a 51 on the floor, but I'm assuming that's probably 15 Aaron Ryan. It is. Official a little confused. One and one now is the aggressiveness of the Red Devilettes has paid off as they get into the bonus. And, 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 Jeff, you, you mentioned it a moment ago, Sophie's playing very aggressive. She has two fouls. If I'm uh, Ravenswood, I'm going at her. I'm going to try to get her that third here. Yeah, and with a minute uh, 51 to go, you know, Coach Kennedy has options as Magoski knocks those down. First one. 18-12. That one's up and in. She rolls the first or second one rather across from the rim and in. Five point game, closest they've been in a while. Eighteen thirteen. One forty to go here in the first half. Nichols 
Back out to Shanklin, cross court to Hall, left wing. Guarded by Mosser, now Ryan. Good closeout defense from Magoski. Ryan drives, Baldwin shot blocked by Mosser. Ravenswood comes out of there with it. Nichols in the backcourt, almost with a steal. Libby Hall, long three, short, cleared by Hall. Good Ladies job by McKinnon and Hall, Brian. <laughs> As they had that rebound, and looked, McKinnon comes in there and swipes it. Looked like Carroll was going to get a putback on that one, and McKinnon just stole the cookie right out of the cookie jar at that time. Here's a drive, left-hand shot from Ryan, no good. Libby Hall with the rebound. Here come the Lady Devils the other way. Bratchford off to Carroll, near corner, 47 seconds, clock turning. 18-13, Ripley leads Ravenswood. Bratchford now to Hall. Little push off, gets away with it. Carroll, baseline jumper, got it. They uh, have really outplayed us here in this second period as they brought the uh, Viking lead to three points, 18 15. 11 5 advantage here in this second quarter for the Lady Devils. 20 seconds, 18 15. Clock turning. Baldwin, cross court to Ryan, right wing. She'll penetrate, left hand dribble into the paint, and a foul is going to be called on Macy Mosser. That'll be her second team sixth. Not sure if they're going to say she was shooting or if that was on the floor. She's going to the line. It will be Aaron Ryan. She's got two shots. First one up and in. She has three points here this afternoon. Only the sixth point. For the Vikings in quarter number two. They have been few and far between in this second quarter. Good uh, physical defense by Ravenswood here in the second. Two free throws up and in. Lady Vikes lead back. 2015. 10 seconds. Here's Ratchford into the front court. Left hand dribble, spin move. Right hand shot, no good. Rebound and put back by Magoski. What a play by Hadley Magoski up and under. We'll get it in and cut this lead to 20 to 17 as we go to the break here from the health center. Lady Vikes lead it. We'll return with halftime analysis after this. You are watching Lady Viking basketball presentation of Mountaintop Media this afternoon, Saturday afternoon basketball. Hi, I'm Jeff McCoy with 21 Country Market. We're proud to be in our 21st year of serving Jackson County and the surrounding communities. For all your fuel, food, and hardware needs, visit one of the 21 Country Market family of stores where it's always fast, friendly, and helpful. For more information, visit 21country.com. Thank you. 
to the health center on the campus of Ripley High School. Jeff Way, Brian, Brian Johnson, Mountaintop Media presentation of Lady Viking Hoops here on Saturday afternoon, Jeff, and uh, a spirited uh, second period there by the, the uh, Lady Devils got them right back into this thing, 20-17, to 17, your halftime score. Sure was, Brian, and um, Coach Williams called that time out and lit a fire underneath her Red Devilettes, uh, they were very aggressive on both ends of the floor uh, with Sophie Nichols setting the first couple minutes of the second period. The uh, Red Devilettes kind of sparked themselves and uh, got right back in this ball game, outscoring the Lady Vikings 13-7. Lady Vikings uh, <clears throat> needed to be a little more aggressive, I think, on the offensive end. We settled for a bunch of uh, outside shots. Uh, when we could have been a little more patient more than likely and got um, got the ball down inside, uh, possibly got to the foul line a little bit. But um, nonetheless, we're up 2017. But I eerily remember a game we did in here last year when uh, we had a very significant lead at the half, yeah. and the Red Devilettes came out and really went – bonkers in the second half and uh, ended up winning that ball game. Neither team shooting it particularly well. Lady Vikings 8 of 29 from the floor. 28% in that first half. The uh, Lady Devils 6 for 24, 25%. You look at the difference in the ball game right now. It has to be turnovers and offensive rebounds. Lady Vikings plus 2 in turnovers. They have 6. Ravenswood with 8. And nine offensive rebounds for the Lady Vikes as compared to six for Ravenswood. Both teams with 12 defensive rebounds. That's really the difference in the ball game. You look at a three-point basketball game right now, and you look at extra possessions, extra shots. You know, you're shooting a little bit higher percentage, and that's the difference in the ball game. Lady Vikings clinging to this three-point lead. Yeah, and, you know, we, we watched the matchups early, and it looked like the uh, Lady Vikes had the advantage, but... Uh, you know, the effort by the uh, Red Devilettes was the difference uh, in that first half. So I'm sure uh, Coach Kennedy and uh, his crew have regrouped in here at half, and they should come out, uh, I would hope, a little fired up here as we uh, approach the uh, third quarter. You look at a couple of players in this Lady Viking roster, Jeff, that you feel like have to bring the physicality in this second half, one being McKinnon Hall. She typically plays with that mentality. Kiana Baldwin, she's very physical down on the block uh, whenever she sets her mind to it. And Aaron Ryan, those three girls to me seem to be the ones that have to answer this physical nature that Ravenswood is playing with in this first half. Sophie's maybe not quite as physical. She's more of a finesse player, but she was in there mixing it up as well in that first quarter. Morgan Shanklin is a girl who's going to get some good putbacks. She's going to get some good rebounds. But those three girls, to me, Jeff, are the ones that have to bring the physicality here in this second half and match what Ravenswood has brought to the floor. Oh, without a doubt. And uh, Sophie Nichols uh, has got a little fire in her belly. Uh, I've seen her out here multiple times when uh, – you know, she uh, has sparked this team just because of her aggressiveness, and uh, she's not afraid to go in there and mix it up. But you hit a, a, a key point there, Brian, I believe, 
We've got to get McKinnon Hall not settling out there. She can take the ball to the basket very strongly. If she gets strong with her dribble, gets by her defender, she's got to go to the front of the rim. If they come to help, she can always dish it off. She has her head up. She's a good ball handler. She's got to take advantage of that strength and get to the either to the front of the rim or to the foul line via uh, her aggressiveness in there. Uh, I think she can do that. If we can, it'll open up things a little more. Now, the other thing is our girls inside, Baldwin and Shanklin, have got to know how to position themselves and get out of the way and not let their defenders just stand there and pick up McKinnon or, or whoever, Sophie, or whoever is driving down the middle. Aaron Ryan has done a good job, too, of penetrating. The problem is she's penetrating into two or three defenders. Right. Jeff, how do we uh, reassert our momentum in this ball game? We had a nice lead at the end of the first quarter. We allowed uh, – I shouldn't say we allowed. Ravenswood took it to us in the second uh, quarter of action. They were 13-7. How do we get that momentum back? Is it uh, taking care of the basketball, which we've done a decent job of? Is it shot selection? Uh, is it – playing defense to turn into offense on the other end? What is it? I think it starts on the defensive end. Ravenswood has been allowed, especially Magoski and uh, Mosser, Watchford. We allowed them to go where they wanted to go in that second period. They got their feet in the paint. They got shots up. They got a sense of foul trouble. They got in the bonus uh, before we did, and that shouldn't happen. So let's tighten down on the defensive end and let the defense turn into the offense. So we'll see what happens. We are about ready for second half action here. Lady Viking basketball here on Saturday afternoon. Presentation of Mountain Top Media. Jeff Waybright, Brian Johnson here. Bringing you all of the action. Lady Vikings at 10 and 3 on the season. Looking for win number 11. And Jeff, they're on trajectory to, to have, uh, at least from a record standpoint right now, to have a one of the top seasons in Lady Viking history. Yeah. Um, you know, they've... Uh, Lost a couple close ones, too, Brian. I mean, uh, we talked about it with the boys' side. The girls could could be, uh, you know, 12-1 and one right now or even 13-0. and 0, But we got to take business here as we start the third period. All we'll have it, Lady Vikings, bring it across the timeline, left to right. Here's head fake from Nichols. She's double teamed. They're trying to get the ball out of her hands. They do it, get it down to Baldwin. Baldwin back to Hall, cut through, lays it up. There you go. Beauty. I think it's like I was listening to Coach Kennedy, and uh, I'm sure he said that in the locker room. Get your feet in the paint, make something happen. Good things happen when you do that. Here's a tough drive. Magoski missed the shot, gets her put back, won't go. Baldwin comes out of there with the rebound. Here they come the Vikings quickly as Coach uh, Kennedy wanted them to push the ball. Here's a three from the corner. Hall, no good, rebounded by Carroll. Carol does a good job of positioning herself inside and getting those rebounds. The Vikes miss an opportunity here on the other end. Paul's three, it won't go. Going to be rebounded by Paul the other way, and she gets an easy run out for Sophie Nichols. And that's something Lady Vikes got to do. Good job of McKinnon Hall getting her head up and seeing Sophie breaking free. 24 17, Lady Vikings. Quick 4 0 run here to start the third. Reversing it in the corner. It's Magoski, she throws it away, and Ryan, actually, Nichols is going to get the credit for the steal. Ryan comes out of there with it. Baseline drive, now near corner, Hall. Reversing it back to Shanklin. Shanklin to Baldwin, back to Hall, right in the circle. There she goes. Stutter step into the paint, and she is going to be fouled. She will not, it will be on the floor, so they will be inbounding it. That's on Mosser, her third and big Brian, foul. from our broadcast position we could see those lanes open up and you wonder why McKinnon as aggressive as she is is even hesitating she uh, can get by very easily the girl that's guarding her and uh, getting her get her feet in the paint make something happen for the lady Vikings so if you got a little too close to the end line that time stepped on the end line turned it over 24 17 here comes Ravenswood the other way Lydia Alfred in the ball game for Mosser who picked up her third Libby Hall's three is no good. Baldwin with the rebound. Lady Vikings looked a little confused on that uh, defensive set. Nichols transition three, no good. And it will go back to Ravenswood. She's hearing it from the Lady Red Devils student section. 24-17, here's 
Alfred, Hall again, wide open corner three, too strong. And it's gonna be rebounded by Magoski. And again, the Lady Vikes look very confused on defense. That's two consecutive trips, wide open shots. We've been fortunate the threes didn't go down. But even after the miss, we haven't been in good position to get the rebound. Magoski is so aggressive with the basketball, mm -hmm. Jeff. She gets into the paint, you say it, get two feet in the paint, good things happen. She's been doing it all afternoon here, chewing up that Lady Viking defense. Shanklin, they get a 15-footer baseline out of her. 26-19 to score. And it almost looked like it was an afterthought. <laughs> she got that ball before she shot it. That's her first points of the ball game. And that's going to be on Morgan Shanklin. That's three on her, Coach Kennedy. Disagrees with the call. There's been a lot of that this afternoon. Tough call there uh, as she hadn't moved. Here's Libby Hall with it. Tied up. Back in the corner to Magoski. Magoski drives into the paint. Little floater. Got it. Chewing up the Lady Viking defense, Jeff. And she's doing what we need to do offensively. She's just going until somebody stops her. She's strong with the basketball. She keeps her dribble. And we gave up on it. And when we do, she just keeps going to the hoop. We typically see out of McKinnon. Here's Sophie driving to the bucket. Nobody stops her. Goes around the defense, lays it up and in. Sophie with six points now. 28-21. Ravenswood bench wanted to travel. Here's McGot or excuse me, Ratchford. She's and it probably uh, was a travel, but she got beat all the way down the lane. Uh, very aggressive as Coach Kennedy wanted the shot to the head to be called as she laid the ball in. She was the defender. The defender was also riding her hip a little bit, and I yeah. think that's why they let it go. Those calls, those calls that could go either way, and they, there are several of those throughout a ball game. Ashford's first free throw up and in, or excuse me, in and out. 28-21, your score. That one's short. Rebound cleared by Shanklin. She reverses back out to Hall, and Hall walking across the timeline. 4.30 to go here, third period, 28-21, Lady Vikes lead it. Ryan with it. Look at the middle of the floor, Brian. <laughs> back to Hall, now back to Nichols. Middle, as you said, middle of the floor wide open. Off to Ryan in the far corner. She penetrates to the elbow, back to Nichols. Nichols, contested three is blocked. And it's Magoski. She's all over the place here this afternoon. Lady Vikes will keep it. Great effort again by the Ravenswood Red Devilettes. Inbounds and an easy bucket for Baldwin, standing right in the middle of the painted area. Lady Vikes lead back to nine, 30-21. Here's Libby Hall, baseline drive, up and under, beauty. What a finish by Libby Hall. She gets her first points of the afternoon, 30-23. Back and forth we go. Lead trimmed to seven now for the Lady Vikes. 345, turning clock, third period. Here's Hall, angled near side, off to Ryan. Ryan will dribble it back out between the circles, back to Hall, left wing. She'll penetrate around the elbow curl, off to Baldwin, baseline jumper, good. Keanu Baldwin makes that shot, Jeff, we're very difficult to defend. And a great job by Baldwin getting out of the way so that McKinnon Hall could find her as the Devilettes picked up Hall on the penetration. Baldwin's wide open. Baldwin into double figures now. She has 10. Carroll will check out. Alfred will check out. Maxson and Jaeger will check in for the Lady Devils with 3.18 remaining in the third period, 32-23. Here's an elbow jumper. No good by Maxson. They're going to say it stays with Ravenswood. And again, the Lady Vikes... But a little held her scouter on defense wide open was Maxim and uh, she we were forced she knock it down then we weren't in position to get the rebound step back two from Ratchford no good rebounded by Nichols here come the Lady Vikes nice job by Ryan to pull it out but then she throws it into the backcourt and the Lady Vikes turn it over those are the type of turnovers Jeff 
you, you have a chance to kind of break it open a little bit and then you just throw the basketball away and give them an opportunity to keep this thing within striking distance. And I think that's why Coach Kennedy's going to take a timeout. Yeah, those unforced errors, Brian, will get you every time. And that's how you, a team, uh, you allow a team to keep hanging around. Uh, you know, this game seems uh, a little closer than 32-23 just because of the way that uh, things have happened out there. Full timeout. We'll take one, two, 32-23, Lady Vikes lead it. You're watching Lady Viking basketball presentation of Mountaintop Media. Vikings lead the Lady Devils 32-23. Mountaintop media presentation of Lady Viking basketball here this afternoon. They're searching for win number 11 on the season in a sweep of Ravenswood as they got a 19-point victory in Ravenswood the first game of the season. They lead this one by nine here in the third period. Here's Alfred with it. She'll dribble it back out between the circles. Off to Maxson, far corner, Ratchford, guarded by Ryan. She reverses it back to Carroll. Down on the block they go, triple teamed is Maxson. And a timeout by the Ravenswood bench. I think they know they got away with a three second. <laughs> a little wry smile from the Ravenswood coaching staff. And I uh, know they maybe escaped a the turnover there, Joe. Yeah, Samantha Maxims came into this ball game though, and she's found herself over two or three times. The Lady Vikings have lost her on the defensive end. Fortunately for the Lady Vikes, uh, Sophie Nichols showed up inside and it, a little intimidation as uh, Maxim didn't want to put the shot up against the much taller Nichols, so the Lady Vikes escaped that possession. But a quick timeout instead of the three second call, and uh, officials ever explained to Coach Kennedy. <laughs> As you said, a raw smile as it came to the sideline. Saratra will inbound it under her own basket. Nowhere to go. She's going to have to get it in. She does to Alfred and then a tie-up. As Aaron Ryan digs that one out, turnover Ravenswood. And the Lady Vikes, again, can extend this to a double-digit lead. If they can put the ball in the hole down here with 2.22 to go, they lead 32-23. Ryan will bring it across the timeline. They try to get into the offense with Hall as they run her off the baseline, trying to find a way to get in the corner of this zone and get some open looks. Nice screen and roll. Baldwin to Hall, and Baldwin lays it up and in. That's as pretty as it gets right there, Jeff, 34-23. You're not a kid, and that is basketball 101 right there. Here's Jaeger with it in the corner to Carroll. Carroll guarded by Baldwin. Picks up her dribble. Back to Ratchford, guarded by Ryan. Ratchford all the way to the basket. Shot too strong, rebounded by Baldwin. Here come the Lady Vikes on the fly again as Ryan brings it into the front court. Hall, corner three, wide open, too strong. Rebound's going to be cleared by Baldwin, but I think maybe they're going to call for an offensive foul. We'll, we'll see. see what's going on here. Almost <laughs> apologetic. <laughs> was the official on the, the foul call there. That would have probably been a, new, a good no call as there were two Ravenswood uh, defenders there. They did have inside position, but the ball bounded out away from the basket, and Baldwin just went straight up and got that. They were uh, hooked up a little bit, but I didn't see a foul there. Maybe that's why he was apologetic <laughs> on the call. 34-23. Here's a steal. Nice play by Sophie. To break that one up, here comes Ryan across the timeline. Off to Nichols in the corner. Defended closely by Magoski. Back to Ryan. She'll penetrate, pick up her dribble. Back to Hall. Little curl, lays it up. Won't go. Carroll with the rebound. 
And there's one thing that Ravenswood does defensively that I really like. They play hard on the ball, but everybody else has helped. So when somebody gets beat, somebody shows to try to slow them down. It really wall you up, Jeff, in that painted area. I think they do, like you said, just a fantastic job as you got to continue to run through defenders to get to the basket. And then Alfred turns it over with 50 seconds remaining here in the third period. 34-23. Interested to see if the Lady Vikes hang on to this one and hope for the final shot. And that's why it's so important on offense that you don't stand and watch, that you continue to move because when they help, you just move to an open area. Nichols with it, left wing, back to Baldwin between the circles. Handoff to Hall. Hall should dribble it out. Now in the corner, Ryan, wide open three, far corner, rattles around and out. Baldwin with the rebound, put back. But a foul is going to be called on the floor on Evelyn Yeager. Good shot over there by Aaron Ryan. Just couldn't get it to fall. And uh, Baldwin right there to get the uh, put back. That's Yeager's first. Team's second here in the second half. Nice curl from Sophie off the inbounds. Good delivery from Hall. Sophie's going to be found, and she's going to the charity stripe. It's Nagoski's second personal. Sophie with six points here this afternoon. A couple of dribbles. She's done a nice job, Jeff of hanging in there when she got into some early foul trouble and not picking up a, a cheap one. And she sure did. And, uh, you know, she just makes such a difference when she's out there on the floor. Her length, both offensively and defensively, she can uh, extend defenses out. Look at that. Oh. Wow. Baldwin couldn't get it to go off the miss. Great effort by her. Rebounded by Carroll. And a carry is... You can hear Coach John Kennedy make the call in the background. Yeah, and that was pretty obvious. Uh, just a, a missed dribble there by Magoski. one of the uh, few times that she has turned the ball over. She hasn't made many mistakes here. Six seconds, five seconds. Lady Vikes got to hurry. Ryan with it. Three seconds, two seconds. Hall, long three at the buzzer, and it's short. And the Lady Vikings will take a 35-23 lead in the fourth period here at the Health Center. You are watching Lady Viking Hoops presentation of Mountaintop Media. Hi, I'm Jeff McCoy with 21 Country Market. We're proud to be in our 21st year serving Jackson County and the surrounding communities. For all your fuel, food, and hardware needs, visit one of the 21 Country Market family of stores where it's always fast, friendly, and helpful. For more information, visit 21country.com. High School, Lady Viking Hoops, as they host Lady Devils from Ravenswood here this afternoon, Jeff, and a 12-point lead. That's not an insurmountable lead, especially the way Ravenswood played in that second period. Uh, they can crawl back into this thing rather quickly. They'll have the basketball moving from our right to left, and they have the firepower, especially with Ratchford out there, who continues to press this Lady Viking defense. Monster back in there as well for the Lady Devils. Here's Carol just inside the top circle and she dribbles into the Viking defense tied up by Aaron Ryan. Nice play by sophomore Aaron Ryan to come out of there with the steal. Here comes the pressure again from the Red Devils. See if the Vikings can look ahead and throw it over the top. They got numbers. There you go. Pass ahead to Baldwin. It's deflected out of bounds by Carroll. That's a good call. A good off the hand of Baldwin. It was a really good call, as you said. Yeah. Coach Kennedy said, we broke it. Let's be patient and set it up. Uh, it would have been good if they'd have caught it and immediately threw it to her, but that little dribble or two that they took previous to that caused it not to be able to uh, get that ball inside. McKinnon with a couple fouls to burn. She burns one there trying to overplay on the dribble handoff. She's she can be aggressive. Person. Yeah, you're right, Ron. It's only her second personal. 
Ratchford inbound, far sideline, nowhere to go with it quickly into Libby Hall. Back to Ratchford to go to work on Ryan, loses the handle and digs it out off to Mosser, jumper good. It's a way to stay with it if you're Ravenswood. As Mosser makes it a 10 point game, she has two here this afternoon. That's her first bucket of the, of the day. Nichols, tough shot. Carroll with the rebound. Got a chance to cut to within single digits here with 6.55 to go in the ball game. Good penetration there by Sophie. Uh, just got to be stronger when she gets her feet in the paint. Carroll to Libby Hall for three straight away. That's off the side of the rim and no good. And a ball deflected out of bounds is by McKinnon Hall to stay with Ravenswood. And again, McKinnon uh, very aggressive down there, getting on the floor, going after that loose ball. They're letting them play too, Jeff, and those tie-ups. They're not calling quick tie-ups. They're letting them uh, fight and battle for it, and they've been doing that all afternoon. Here's Libby Hall, loses the handle. Aaron Ryan with the steal. Mike's got numbers if they just push it. Here comes Hall, baseline drive, kicks it in the far corner to Nichols for three. Too strong, rebounded by Carroll. That would have brought the house down had she been able to connect on that one. 6.15 to go here in the ball game. Nichols deflects it out of bounds. Good recovery defensively by Sophie. And a timeout by the Ripley bench. It's going to be a full timeout. We'll take one, two, Jeff. 35-25. Ripley leads the Lady Devils from Ravenswood here. Saturday afternoon basketball. 6.14 remaining. You are watching Lady Viking Hoops presentation of Mountain Top Media. remaining in this one 35 25 lady bikes lead it both teams struggled offensively jeff i think is safe to say uh, both teams have really battled defensively uh, but the shots have not been falling here this afternoon that's indicative of this score with uh, 615 to go in the ball game. and you see that every now and then in rivalry games both teams a little amped up and uh try to go a little faster maybe than they uh would otherwise ratchford down the block to carroll shot blocked Good play by Sophie Nichols, rebounded by Hall, and here they come the other way, 35-25. Under six minutes remaining in the ballgame. Lady Vikes in search of win number 11. They're not even through January yet. Here's Nichols, nice move, baseline jumper, won't go, rebounded by Hall. And she is going to be fouled baseline. Sophie had a good look at it, missed everything. They're not calling the foul. They're just calling a tip ball out on the Red Devilettes. And Kenny comes up slow. Three Sandy time wants out. another timeout. That's very unusual for McKinnon Hall to uh, not pop right back up. Don't know what the injury was, if it was her hand or her head. But she's over there grinning now, so might have been her head. <laughs> I'm guessing Coach Kennedy made a wise call. Oh, I'm sure he did. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Vikes lead at 35-25. You got your broadcast partner who showed up here uh, this afternoon, a little guy behind you, and someone who knows a little bit about Lady Viking hoops set behind you as well there, Jeff. Yeah, she's, she was okay. <laughs> <laughs> that would obviously be your daughter and son as well, who both starred here on the – Hardwood, as long as with yourself. The lineage of Viking hoops through the boys and the girls teams. 537 remaining here in the ballgame. 35-25 your score. Lady Vikes lead it. Aaron Ryan gets away with a carry. Nice pass, pass from Hall to Baldwin. She can't hang on. Stolen by Carroll. Boy, you called it, partner. That was a beautiful look by McKinnon Hall. Transition. Magoski's three. Got it. She is an absolute instant offense for this team. 
And they, Jeff, are back to within seven with 5'10 remaining. This game is a long way from being over. Hall with it. Lady Vikes can't get stagnant offensively, Jeff, and I feel like that's what this zone has done to them all afternoon. I know what I'd do. Get two feet in the paint. <laughs> I wouldn't, well, either that or I would just sit out there and stay and say, come guard me. There's Baldwin in a baseline I mean, jumper. We've got the lead, uh, and uh, I will trust McKinnon Hall to make the right decision if they run out on her, but I'd just stand out there at that Viking head and say, you better come guard That's me. That's right. Libby Hall buries the three left wing. Back to six. 37-31. Ravenswood. They like these even quarters. They're up 8-2 in this one. They led the Vikings 13-7. Here's another turnover stolen by Magoski. Here's a transition three from Ratchford. That's short, rebounded by Mosser. And a foul is going to be called on Sophie. That's going to be her fourth, I believe, Jim. No, actually third, excuse me. Again, Lady Vikes not getting back on defense. Jeff, they dodged a bullet there on that three from Ratchford. I thought it was going in. It looked good from that right wing. They have a chance to cut into this one. Two possession game. Mosser, nice delivery to Ratchford. Back to, tries to force it to Mosser, turns it over. Tie up on the floor. It'll stay with Ravens with a nice job by Shanklin. Get in there and tie that one up with 4.14 to go in this ball game. This is a big possession right here. It's a two possession basketball game with four minutes to go. Here's Libby Hall. Getting a little push from Shanklin. She'll take it all the way to the basket. Shot wow. no good. A lot of contact, no call. Ravenswood has it back. Here's a skip pass. Mosser, long two from the wing. It's no good. She gets her own rebound. Back up with it. It won't go. Libby Hall with the rebound. Put back won't go. Shanklin comes out of there with it. And ball on the end line, Jeff. They're going to give it to the Lady Vikes, I believe. I think that's a big break. <laughs> a big break for the Lady Vikes. Two possession ball game, almost just under four minutes to go here. You said this is a long way from being over. Here they come the other way. Baldwin shot blocked by Magoski. Here Carroll with it. Picks up her dribble, does Ratchford. Fended closely and very physically by Aaron Ryan. They're letting it play all day like that, Jeff. I mean, you can complain and and uh, chew on them as much as you want, it's but been, they've let them play the same way all day. It's and been both ways, partner. You're right. Very aggressive on both ends. Um, and uh, and I am not an official apologist, <laughs> as you well know. However, they've been very consistent, and uh, I know both teams are mad. But uh, that tells you when both teams are mad, <laughs> they've done a pretty consistent job. Well, we talked about it. The other night, uh, the inconsistency in the boys' game with Parkersburg and Ripley and the kids don't know how to play, these officials have called it consistently, as you said, the same way all night long. So here we are with three and a half minutes to go in this game. Both teams should have it figured out how they're going to call this game. So be strong with the basketball on the offensive end. You're not going to get any ticky-tack calls. You're going to have to earn it. When you get a rebound, you better be strong with it because they're allowing them to reach and slap. But they've done it on both ends, and so uh, no complaints on this end. They've scored 10 points in the first and third quarter combined, Jeff, and they've scored so far through the second and the fourth 21 points. So 21 of their 31 points have come in a quarter and a half. Yeah. Uh, think if they put four together, <laughs> we might well, be in trouble. Lady Vikes would be in a lot of trouble <laughs> right now had they been able to put together performances in the odd quarters as they have the even quarters for whatever reason that is. Here's Ratchford across the timeline, right to left. Carroll with it. Gives off to Magoski, baseline drive. Picks up her dribble, nowhere to go. Cross court, Ratchford, baseline jumper, no good. Baldwin clears the rebound. But Lady Vikes dodge a bullet there, and turn away. it over. And then probably get away with an over and back. Baldwin comes away with the steal. Here she is in transition. She's going to be fouled by Libby Hall. And Kiana is going to go to the free throw line. Coach Varney urging the Lady Devilettes to take care of the ball. As a good play by the Lady Vikings and a great run out there by Baldwin. That's Libby Hall's first personal team's fourth. Baldwin with 14 points here this afternoon. She leads the scorers for the lights. Make it 15. 
Legoski with 18 leading all scorers. Carroll will check out. Lydia Alford will check in. Kiana looking for point number 16 and looking to give the Lady Vikes an eight point lead. 38 31 your score. Let's make it 39 31. Kiana with 16 here this afternoon. Three minutes remaining in this ball game. Eight point Lady Viking lead. Kiana has showed up today. She has been fantastic. The senior leadership uh, has been there this afternoon. And there is again the aggressive take from Hadley Magoski. She picks up the foul on McKinnon Hall. I really like this girl's game, Jeff. I like how she plays. I like how physical. And she does not back down. And uh, she's playing a, a little uh, bigger. Jeff, maybe than even her stature is. I mean, she is a, a, a very aggressive player on the offensive end. Yeah, and I don't think that we've recognized it. For the most part, she's going to go to her right. We haven't overplayed her that way, and she's been able to get where she wants to go on the court for the most part all day long. She has 20 as she makes both. Here's Ryan, and that's a good call. There was a there was definite the, push. Definite push in the back. And that's going to be three on Magoski. That's a big foul. If she had she not extended her arms, Jeff, I don't think they would have made that call. But she extended her arms right into the back of Aaron Ryan, and I think that's why the call was there. Nice run out. Baldwin can't get it to fall. Gets her own rebound. Put back won't go. Put back second time. Up and in. Way to stay with it by Kiana Baldwin. And I like that she kept the ball above her head on every one of those rebounds. 41-33, your score. Tie up. Mosser in. Nichols under the basket. Ball out of bounds to the Lady Devils. 2.34 to go in this one. Libby Hall will check out. 42, Evelyn Yeager will check in. Ratchford to Mosser. Back to Ratchford, top circle. Now right wing, Alfred with it. Looking to get the ball cross court to Mosser. Now in the corner, Ratchford guarded by Ryan. So dribble it back out to the left elbow. Off to Magoski. Crossover between the legs. Goes to work on Hall. Reversing it back to Alfred. Ball loose. Jaeger runs it down. 2-10 to go in this one. 41-33. Back to Ratchford. Nice cut through to Mosser. She lays it up and in. Beautiful look. And a nice cut by Macy Mosser. 41-35. Your score. Two-possession game. Lady Vice trouble getting it in. And an offensive foul. Off the ball on Morgan Shanklin. That is her fourth. That was a long way away from where the basketball was being inbounded. Yeah, and I did not see that. No. Uh, that is a player, so player I, control foul. So. so I can't really uh, comment because I didn't see what happened. As you said, it was way far away from the ball. There's Magoski, floater. No good, an offensive foul is gonna be called. Aaron Ryan steps in and takes the charge. And that's a big offensive foul. That is her fourth personal. That shot goes in, Jeff, and things tighten up quite a bit. Yes, sure does. 41-35, Lady Vikes lead it. Ryan, ball deflected, Paul runs it down. Here she comes in transition. And a foul is going to be called on Jaeger. And that was a good foul Very because good foul. it was a run out for Mack, and she was going to lay that thing in. So McKinnon will go to the line one and the bonus with a minute 46 remaining in this ball game, 41-35. Lady Viking Hoops, a presentation this afternoon of Mountaintop Media. Jeff Waybright and Brian Johnson here. Brian, there's a bunch of good sophomores out there on the floor. Uh, for Seven. both teams here tonight, uh, Aaron Ryan and Shanklin and Sophie Nichols for the Lady Vikes, Mosser and Ratchford, Magoski for uh, yeah, this is the Devils. A lot of talented young uh, sophomores out there. No question about it. Cupboard is not going to be bare for a few years. 43-35. Couple of big ones there from McKinnon. Comes Ratchford. Transition picks up her dribble off the Mosser right wing. Back to Libby Hall, who checked into the ball game. She'll drive in and a tie-up. How good is Aaron Ryan at getting the tie-up, Jeff? Uh, she just reckless abandoned reaching in, grabbing the basketball. And, she, and to her credit, she had all basketball that time. She just keeps digging in there. Uh, she's very aggressive and uh, 
She picks her spots, and as you said, uh, she's done a great job of getting some tie-ups here this evening. So Jaeger is going to be called for that personal. That'll be her second and the team's seventh. Lady Vikes will be shooting free throws. Another, They can put this thing away here, Jeff. We can make some free throws. I mean, they have an eight-point lead uh, right now. Uh, you, you have to believe they're going to continue to foul and try to lengthen this game. Yeah, I think you're exactly right, Brian. Uh, if we can step up there and knock down free throws, uh, you know, we can keep this thing well in hand and uh, get out of here with another W. Uh, you know, these games, uh, you go back, as you said, to the beginning of the season when the Vikings uh, handled Ravenswood pretty easily over there uh, in Ravenswood. But a different day, a different time, and uh, these rivalry-type games can go pretty helter-skelter from time to time. But the uh, Lady Vikes have stepped it up. Looked like uh, Ravenswood was going to, to really uh, get themselves even closer in this game. They got it down to a two-possession game. I, I, first time I've ever seen this, Jeff. Ravenswood's jersey numbers, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> I have never seen that before. Nice play there by That's Ratchford. That's and Sophie. Great play by Ratchford. And she's wanting a little extracurricular activities from Sophie. A nice play by Ratchford to come out of there with that steal. And Sophie will pick up the personal foul. That'll be her fourth. Yeah, and Sophie aggressively going for that ball, got hit in the nose. And I think that... Uh, Fired her up a little bit. So Ravenswood a chance with the clock stopped. 134 here to go in this ball game. We're all back into it. No good. Morgan Shanklin comes out there with the rebound. She's knocked down and they call a travel. So very unfortunate call there for the Lady Vikings. She was throwing past the ball off as she was falling. Libby Hall gets a three up. No good. And a rebound. And They're just going to call out of bounds on that one. So, all goes everywhere. Bodies all over the floor. And no whistle. One twenty-eight to go. Thirty-five, forty-three, thirty-five. Lady Vikes lead it. Here, Ryan on the inbound. Mosser hassling her, and then fouls her under her own basket. Macy picks up her fourth. It's team's eighth. It's going to be a one and one. So she'll put Aaron Ryan at the free throw line. There's, some, there's a little bit of jawing going back and forth as they walk down the floor. You gotta love these rivalry games. Aaron Ryan, big smile. So. Yeah, her and uh, Morgan Shanklin. Exchanging pleasantries out there, and they both tickled about it, whatever it was. Ryan steps to the line, high arcing free throw up and in. Nine point Lady Viking lead, point number five in the afternoon for Aaron Ryan. Keep your eyes on McKinnon Hall as she goes in there and battles, trying to get position if there would be a miss. High arcer, no miss, up and in, six points. Ten point Lady Viking lead, and the Lady Vikes can smell blood in the water right now, Mosser. Back to Ratchford, and she'll bring it across the timeline up the far side. 1.18 to go. Nice back cut and good defense. As McKinnon Hall will get the credit for the steal. Vikings have numbers. And Aaron Ryan wisely backs it out with a 10-point lead. And 65 seconds remaining in the ballgame, Alfred ties her up on the far sideline. She's going to be called for the personal. That'll be the... Ninth team foul, first on Alfred. So Aaron Ryan back to the free throw line. Lady Vikes have extended it to a 10 point lead now. Couple of dribbles from the right hander, High Archer, and that one is too strong. Rebounded by Mosser. As He's all over the floor again. Here's Alfred to Amos, or baseline drive. And a Whoa! Block. Shoulder into the defender. That. Typically see an offensive foul call, but they're going to are they going to count that basket? On the floor, they're going to call it. So, Macy Moss will go to the free throw line. 
I thought they were going to call the shot good for a moment. Macy with four points here this afternoon, 52.7 to go in this ball game, 45-35. Macy's free throw off the mark. She got her own rebound, but it uh, didn't touch the rim, so ball off to the Vikings. 52.2 to go. Hall will inbound. Looking to throw deep, ball deflected, and it's going to be stolen by Ratchford. She goes to the basket, shot up and in, and a foul. She's going to get an old-fashioned three-point play opportunity. What a play by Emily Ratchford. So they're going to be shooting two the rest of the way. They're going to get one here. But that's team foul number 10 on the Lady Vikes as Maxson checks in. Lady Vikes had trouble inbounding that ball and turn it over and uh, then after the turnover commit the foul three-point play seven-point game as Ratchford gets an old-fashioned three-point play here's Nichols 49 seconds she'll bring it up the far sideline Mosser trailing she has four fouls and a foul is going to be called with 42.2 to go that's going to be on Mosser and that's going to be five on her Devilettes uh, continuing to uh, apply pressure. So Libby Hall will check in for Macy Moss, or checks out with four points and five rebounds here this afternoon. Got herself in foul trouble early in the ball game. Had to miss most of that second period. Sophie couple of important free throws here, 42.2 to go, 45-38. She rattles the first one up and in. She has eight points. 46-38, Lady Vikes lead it by eight. Nichols, three dribbles, high archer in. She has nine, Lady Vikes lead it by nine. Alfred back to Ratchford, guarded by Hall. Into the front court, off to Libby Hall. Libby Hall penetrates into the paint, back out to Maxson. Step through, shot too strong. Rebounded by Alfred, put back, up and in. Good job by Lydia Alfred. Seven point game, 47-40, here's Hall. Guarded by Maxson up the near side, 18 seconds. They're gonna have to foul. Alfred is gonna foul from behind with 16 seconds remaining in the ball game. They good job too by, much time run there, didn't they? Yeah, good job by Mack of uh, getting under control, being strong with the ball as Alfred came from the backside and committed the foul. So McKinnon will go to the foul line. McKinnon with 12 here this afternoon. Important free throws again. Too strong. Seven point Lady Viking lead, 47-40. 16 seconds remaining in the ball game. Hall gets the basketball, directs traffic, and then shoots a free throw. Makes it 48-40. Three possession game. Here's Alfred back to Ratchford. 15 seconds. Across the timeline. Ratchford back to Alfred. She'll penetrate into the paint. Loses a hand on a foul. It's going to be whistled on Kiana Baldwin with 8.7 seconds to go. That's her third, team's 11th. So Lydia Alfred will go to the line with the clock stopped. She has a chance to make it a two possession game, but it's bad news for Ravensworth. There's only 8.7 seconds on the clock. That one's off the mark. Should be two shots. Yeah, double. Official a little. <laughs> Slow on the uptake on that one as it was a two shot situation. 48 40. 30 second timeout by the Lady Viking coaching staff. And, uh, you know, barring a memorable meltdown here, the Lady Vikes are going to win game number 11 here of the season. It hasn't been pretty, Jeff, but it's uh, been effective. Is it? Possible to score eight points in 8.7 seconds? Yes, it is. Is it probable? Reg no. I saw Reggie Miller do it once. Uh huh. But that, that's Reggie Miller, and that's been a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the stars have to be aligned for Absolutely. that to happen. But 
As you said, looks like the Lady Vikings are going to get win number 11 here this afternoon at the health center. And uh, not a thing of beauty, as you said, but a lot of these rivalry games, as we said earlier, are not things of beauty. And uh, I have a feeling Coach Kennedy likes winning like this, though, because he can go to practice the next day and he's got a lot of teaching points and he can keep their attention more so than if you come out and you win by 20 or 30 points. Alfred's second one, no good. Rebound by Baldwin and another tie-up. And again, bodies everywhere. 6.6 .6 seconds remain. Vikings lead by 8. 48-40. Goski will inbound it under her own basket. Ball deflected by Hall. Quick hands. The Lady Viking point guard. Nice pass underneath to Hall. She reverses it back out to Alfred. And Coach and Kennedy's screaming, why are we reaching? We're leading by eight. And we've been very fortunate, Brian, because the missed free throws by Ravenswood here in the last minute or so. And then... Uh, the turnovers we've had, and then the silly fouls, up eight. Ball picks up her fourth as Alfred back to the line. That one's off the mark. Free throw shooting has been a difference here this afternoon for the Lady Vikings. Gianna Ball will check out just 18 points. 17 rebounds. Tell me that young lady didn't Great game. game for Kiana today. Lydia Alfred, too strong. Shanklin with the rebound. And in a, another jump ball. And it stays with the Lady Vikings. Yeah, and uh, we just need to throw the ball forward. 2.7. Here's Sophie. She'll dribble out the clock. And the Lady Vikings get win number 11 here this afternoon. 48 to 40 over the Lady Devils from Ravenswood. We'll return with Ripley Viking head coach John Kennedy after this. You're listening to Lady Viking Hoops on Mountaintop Media. win at 48 40 here coach kennedy joins us uh coach i know you just said you felt like you took a uh took an l out there this afternoon didn't maybe have your best game your best stuff uh but you got to win and you got win number 11 on the year yeah uh an ugly win's better than a loss and, and we'll always take those you know i just these rivalry games you can flip a quarter you know and, and we we were there last year. Yeah. We had a lead and come out of halftime, and yep. we played not we played not to lose instead of play to win. I told, I told Jeff at the end of the ball game. I get a feeling you somewhat enjoy winning these rock fights like this when it's not pretty, and, and shots aren't falling. You got some some turnovers maybe that are iffy, some decisions because it gives you an opportunity to get their full attention in practice in the next game, plus you get a victory. Absolutely. And we've just got to lock in better. You probably heard me say it a couple times, is lock in defensively. And we were getting, you know, our heads at times on a few, quite a few possessions. And, you know, it's Ravenswood, and they're excited, and they want to get a win. They're playing hard. 
But sometimes that playing hard hurt us. We, we didn't take care of our house sometimes defensively, let a girl back cut us, and we didn't even have a clue where she was at. They scored the rim. And, but, you know, we'll go back to, to practice there on Monday. We've got a huge game, sexual opponent coming up against Winfield. And our defensive effort intensity, we better pick it up big time because they are no slouch. Talk about a game like today when the shots aren't falling, Coach. And as a coach, what are you thinking? You were 17 of 52 from the floor, 33%, uh, so well below your season average. They were 15 of 52. You both shot the same amount of shots. Free throws this afternoon, you were 12 of 17. They were 7 of 15. Right there's a big difference. You're looking at, it at uh, what, uh, a uh, five-point swing in an eight-point game. You get a couple of offensive rebounds. You get a, a bucket here or there. Uh, and and it, the score, the game was a little bit closer, actually, than the sure score is going to show. Yeah, uh, Kiana, like you said there earlier before we got on the air, with 18 points, 17 rebounds. She rebounded like crazy today. Um, you know, when shots aren't falling, you try to tell your girls, you know, get into the rim, get fouled. And we've had some looks there where we were trying to get inside and we just didn't finish some of them. Now, Key made some beautiful short corner shots there from mid-range there in that second half for us. And the offenses were working. We were, it was a little frustrating to watch the first half as you guys saw it. You know, it's, it's one and done. We weren't being patient running our stuff. And, you know, that's frustrating over here. And we told them in, in halftime, you know, just, just be patient here. And I was trying to be extremely positive. Your shots are going to fall. And we just had one of those games that they didn't yeah. they didn't fall. I was impressed with Sophie this afternoon, uh, Coach. She got in foul trouble early. We took her out for a little while, but then put her back in late in that second quarter. And I assume you told her, play smart. You don't yeah. want to pick up that third personal. She did a great job uh, of pushing the line of being aggressive but not getting that silly foul call. I thought she did a nice job hanging in there. Yeah, and one thing that stood out to me with Sophie's game today is when somebody would make a mistake, you would see Sophie's leadership step up there big time when she got in there and pat Key on the back or Mac or E, whoever it was. So that leadership is is amazing to see from such a young young player, just a sophomore, when she's trying to lift everybody up and talk to them, keep them positive. That that was huge. So, Coach, next game you said is Winfield. Is that correct? Winfield at home. Yes, sir. Which day would that be? I, I believe the <laughs> – you try to try to put it all back together Tuesday or Wednesday. I think maybe you play. I think we play them Wednesday. Okay. At home, so we've got two days to, to fix some stuff and get back to work. So as you said, that's a huge game from a, a sectional proceeding sectional seating perspective. What do you? What's your mindset going into that basketball game? Defense uh, got to win it, or you got to pick it up on the offensive end. Uh, against them, we've got to be executing on both ends of the floor. We're going to try to uh, switch some things up defensively. Uh, they've got two uh, post players in, in there that they run a lot of hollow action. And, and uh, post number 45, Kennedy Schillings, she'll just bury you in there right in front of the rim. And we watched them play up at East Fairmont, and she had eight straight points. I mean, they just kept one high-low. So we're definitely going to game plan against that. Um, our defensive pressure has got to be better as far as help side defense stopping the ball. We're still reaching a lot. And, you know, I was a little disappointed in that. Offensively, we've got to be firing on all cylinders. Everybody's got to be knocking shots down. If we come out and have a bad shooting game, it's going to be a long night. Coach, congratulations. Go enjoy this one with your team. Thank you, guys. Appreciate y'all. Hey, thanks for the pullovers as well. Appreciate that. Uh, I like free stuff, so we, we certainly appreciate uh, uh, you providing those for us. Anytime. Right. I appreciate it. You know, just a little token of appreciation, guys. And thank Mountaintop Media for being here. And you guys and Rube and James and Sarah taking care of us. I appreciate all of Thanks you Thanks for giving us a Saturday afternoon win, Coach. Go enjoy this. I hear you. Take care, guys. <laughs> Thank you. That was Ripley Viking head coach John Kennedy as he gets the victory. Uh, and you and I are going to keep the, the seats warm here, Jeff, as uh, Lady Vikes get the sweep. The junior varsity team won. The Lady Vikes won 48-40 here over the Lady Devils from Ravenswood. Now we go into uh, boys' games. The JV is going to play Point Pleasant uh, here in a few moments, and then the varsity team's going to follow that, and we're going to have the varsity game right here on Mountaintop Media and C98. Both will be carrying that one. And looking forward to it. The uh, Lady Vikings get the win here, as you said, uh, junior varsity and varsity, and uh, the boys looking to rebound from the uh, defeat at the hands of uh, the Big Reds of Parkersburg the other night. I think uh, – 
that we will be very ready to play here today. So uh, looking forward to it. I think the Mountaintop Media guys are buying dinner. Is that right? Is Amen. That hey, all right. All right. We'll, we'll wrap this thing up, and we will check back with you later on this evening, approximately around 6.30 p.m. We'll have the, the WVU Medicine Jackson General Hospital countdown to tip off. We'll be on C98 in conjunction with Mountaintop Media here in about two hours. Thanks for joining us. Lady Vikings knock off the Lady Devils from Ravenswood 48 to 40 here this afternoon as uh, we say goodbye here for a couple of hours. Thanks to Mountaintop Media for bringing the presentation this afternoon. And thank you to Jeff Waybright. And I'm Brian Johnson signing off. We'll see you in a couple of hours.